Montana needs you again, New Mexico, get ready, Shane Slinky and Mojo Petscott. It's time. Shane Slinky at the head end of Zortman, Montana, Monty Joe Petska, Carlsbad, New Mexico. At the heels. In the team roping position, somebody's got to set a pace. Boys, why don't you just go ahead and do it with a go-round win? Oh, Shane looked at him that way. Mojo, pair of them. Beautiful way to start it out. Now, everybody's got a rope, except I've got a 10-second oh. barrier penalty. Doggone it, shucks. Heck darn. Ooh. Ouch. 15 and oh. 5. Don't let them leave thinking that they did wrong. Don't let them leave. Now, Thank you. Here's a pair that we want to see start making a move as well. Alan Bach is the reigning titleist of the world. He is the man that's roping on the heel side. One of the most consistent headers in the world is the Ringland, Oklahoma talent, Charles Pogue. He's the one behind the barrier. Oklahomans, got a bunch of those. Plus, we're taking a look at the talent on the heel side, Alan Bach, look at I don't know what's happening or why, but a little more consolation. We got a penalty of five. They only managed to get one hind foot. 10 flat with the five off. I haven't seen Alan Bach rope three in a row by a hind foot in years. Mr. Motes, it's about time you reach out and touch somebody. Get you one. Go to the end of that knot one time. David Motes, 20th year at the national finals, world champion at the head end from Fresno, California. Joe Day from Howe, Texas, California. Holler, reach, get to hold of. Good. Come around, Joe D, right there, pretty boys. Nice run, son. I'll take it with a five and two. We're in the single digits now. Motes and Day have set a pace. Clean run. Where are all the Coloradans at in here tonight, huh? Boy, well, they're out in contingency. Let's go to the Cousins. J.D. Yates on the head. Jay Wadham's on the heels. You talk about a pair that is mighty capable of putting us down into the low fives or the high fours. This pair out of Colorado. Take note, if you're a new fan, these ropes are not tied in any fashion to that saddle horn. When a man makes a catch, he takes what we call the dally or a spin of the tail of the rope around that saddle horn to hang on to his livestock. Let's give a little help on the run. J.D. to the head, ouch, Whoa. ouch. Well, I was talking about the dollars and it doesn't happen and it makes for a mighty sore hand. Thank you to our fans out here at 17,000 strong tonight. Whew. Don't see that happen very often. Nope. Uh-uh. T. Woolman, Lano, Texas. Rich Skelton, Lano, Texas. The land of Tejas, Lone Star Pride with a reaching world champion, a steer open champion, and this buckskin horse come a clattering. They've been a 5-9 and a 10-7. A no time on the first one. This is just for the day, money. Get him, T. Take the cut, and he did. Going for the day, money. Now, in the team roping, if you're watching rodeo for the first time, when you see these things start to happen, and they've been out of the average, and they make mistakes, they're going to make some effort to get reckless. This three-loop effort at a 22-3, the three-loop effort at a 22-3, they've probably talked it over and said, well, we're out on one. Some other guys are as well. They're long on three loops on a couple. Maybe we ought to think about that average and try to stay alive in it. Well... Coming into tonight, there were only nine guys that had caught all three. They pay eight in the average, so you got a chance to work your way back up into it. Might be the reason as well, huh? Nick Sarche, Randy Pollich, and Nick Sarche. Pollich is on the head. Sarche is on the heels. How about a little help here? No. No. Now, it's off, but they're not out of it. Not encourage him, encourage him. Let's get to the program here. Get you a loop built. Yep. Come on, Nicholas. Get you a loop built. Let's get to it, boys. 
All right, Pulich is rebuilding on the head side. Remember what I said a minute ago about the average. Those that are on three, these guys have consistently caught three. They don't want to drop down at all. They want to stay at least solid on their runs. There. 34 seconds flat, 34. Now, when that head loop came off, that knot pulled tight. And he wasn't able to build a loop that he needed for the second one. Yeah. That hurts a little. Take it, though, even a half ahead. Now, you saw a half ahead catch right there. Around the horns, around the neck, or a half ahead. All the three legal catches. Matt Tyler. Corey Kuntz. On the heel end, who rides the AQHA World Champion Horse of 1996. American Quarter Horse Association and beautiful bronzes, cash awards to the champions in each category and all of our timed event horses, including the ladies in the barrel race. What a wonderful sponsor. Nice to have them involved. Matthew Tyler, around the neck, it's good. KK, two, yep, you got them. You got him. Take it out of six and five. No place to go but into the wall. Still get away with it. That's where the healer can make the difference. Yep. Six, six and five. five is going to move him to the number two spot. And we are going to move to Kevin Stewart. Glen Rose, Texas, an average winner of the finals. Tom Lauren, Marietta from Georgia. Five, six in round one, seven and four. Then they came back long at the 14-9, but are mighty capable of putting it back on for the rounds again. Progressive, it's fun to watch in the roping because of the fact that it is progressive. You see the man on the head side make his catch, then you know half of the work is done and you put a little fan power in for the healer. Head side's there, heel side's under. Yes, it is. Beautiful. Well, jump to two with a five and eight now. Second spot at five and eight. Brett, it's check time, okay? They got a third last night with a five and four. That was worth $4,100 a piece. Not bad for five seconds worth of work, about $800 a second. Brett Boatwright of Mulhall, Oklahoma, will be at the, half end, or at the head end and Jeff Medlin. The rancher from Tatum, New Mexico. New Mexico, oh. you're here. Well then, stay here, stay alive. Let's get to it. They have not had the best work yet. Last night is what it was. Woo! Oh! -ho. Pitched one a country mile. Comes in on the backside. And a no time. Illegal head catch. Went around the horns and an extra figure eight up over the right horn. Harry Rose Jr., our Wrangler judge, has to flag him out. It's illegal. Okay. We need some hot runs, and we got five teams yet to produce them. And if your name is Speedy, then you ought to be uh, a little indicative to do that in this event. Speedy Williams, so along with Brett Gould. Florida and Texas. Our represented Speedy's on the head side. Brett is on the heels. They are thus far in the rounds the third winningest team, money-wise, about $8,000 a man that they have put together. In the average side of it after three, they're among the top four. Look at Las Vegas. How about a little help for Brett on the back? Oh, yeah. 30. Yeah. Look at him reach up and look at the Copenhagen Skull Pro Rodeo Board. 5.1 is going to move him to the lead of our go round. Nice job for Williams and Goo. Well, here comes a team that you're going to watch rope 10 steers in the Thomas and Mac at the end of 1996 for the last time as a team. Yes, next year they will do two different things. Doyle Gellerman at the head end, Brett Brockus, Claremore, Oklahoma at the heels, Gellerman. Second generation champion. He was raised at the national finals. No, they aren't having problems. It's not a divorce that you hear about in team roping. Not. Doyle is going to do his thing, teach more schools, of which he's a marvelous professor. Yeah. And Mr. Bacchus says, I want to rope with a guy in Oklahoma. Go harder. 
and that's the way it'll be. Reach out, yeah. oh man! Throw it a country mile, and he did. Oh, he did. Now their theory is you're gonna try hard 10 times, you just take whatever settles when the fight's over. Call it up, Doyle, no, get you another one. Head catch sizzles one on. Now Brent, ponytail man, get you a pair. Tough to do. That steer was about as gap-legged as you could be. Oh, that's tough to do. Look at, look then he broke a stirrup. A stirrup. He broke a stirrup and everything else in the middle of it. Boys, might not be your night, but you'll be all right. Shake it off, folks, out of 25 and two. History's not made yet. They are the Ooh. arena record holders. They're all right. Boy, now you stand out in that right stirrup to do a little roping. Have that stirrup come out from under you. Shows you what a horseman to be on him after that. Let's go to the Steves of Texas. Talking about Steve Purcell on the head side, Steve Northcott on the heels. They've been having it nice thus far. They lead the average. They've made about 8,300 a man. They're looking for more in a round tonight. Oh! Yeah, oh. yeah, 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 yeah. Clean, 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 Smile, clean. Smile, Northcott. Smile, Priscilla. How about the 4.9 time on the run? The Steves of Texas. Boy. Okay, you want us to beat that now, don't you? Well, now the pressure's on to do it. Pressure's on, and two teams very capable of doing just that. Need a 4 8 four, seven, gentlemen. World champion Bobby Hurley and Cody Cowden. Hurley from Ceres, California. Cody Cowden on the gray horse at the heel end from Lee Grand, California. Bobby Hurley spin him one. Cody, he'll drive a pair into there. Oh, now that's a first. First three loop run that they're gonna have. Make sure you look at this one good, Cody. Take a good look at him. He shortened him up a coil. That's gonna help. Closer. There it is. Wind up, delivery, and two. It can happen. Hey, just a penalty of time, that's all. 21-4. And it cost them maybe a little money in the average. Yeah. It could come back, though. There's still six rounds to resurface there. Final team. Last night, they made a run down to the Gold Coast Hotel and Casino, picking up the award design of metal buckles. They were four and eight. Take a look at Lytton Cowden on the head side. Oh! Brent Lockett is the man on the heel side. Gather him back, gather him back. They, uh... Stick him now. Pills haze him down through there. Let's get to him. Head catch good. Two Pillsbury. Come on, Brent. Let the paint horse stop with two in front. One's better than none. Penalty of five tenths of a second. 29 and seven. Well, in our open tonight, some highlights and some tough breaks. All of it among the best talent in the world in our game. Hottest run of the night, the Steves of Texas are the ones that have turned it in for us. We're going to gather the steer. Where's all the Texas people at again, huh? There'll be a little Texas pride here in a moment. 4.9 time on their run tonight. That'll be worth about $8,300 a man. Here come the Steves of Texas. Steve Northcott, Steve Priscilla. Behind the banner of the Minion Horseshoe Hotel and Casino, follow along with the banner of the Sahara. Sahara Hotel and Casino, where the showdown begins at sundown.